hi, it's lovely to see you. I hope you're well. Do you know, last time I saw you, it was raining all the time. And since then we've had super moons and we've also had sun, which has just been lovely. You'll notice in that last clip that I showed you that narrowboat Alice Grace was in the marina called the Fish and Duck Marina. If you notice the sounds, we've got Tern who are just going over and also Lapwing who are fighting against the crows because the crows keep stealing their eggs. So I might show you a bit of that later. So yes, because we put our narrowboat in a marina for a week last week. And that was because for a while now, I'd say for a year, we have been thinking about buying a motorhome because we used to do lots of motorhome, motorhome holidays before we got our boat, so when we had a house and we absolutely loved it, you know. Um, the best way to do this is to have a look at hiring a motorhome, which is what we did. But first of all, we had to make sure it was the layout that we would choose if we were going to buy a motorhome. So we found a motorhome that had the layout that we would look for if we bought a motorhome and we hired it and the motorhome was in Bognor Regis. We left the boat just outside Ely in Little Thetford at the marina and we did about a two hour, two and a half hour drive to pick up the motorhome. Right away we noticed, and this is probably because the last motorhome holiday we had, Zephyr was just a puppy and she could sit on your lap in the um, vehicle. Well, she's big now. Whenever we are on the narrowboat, she likes to be part of the action and sit on the stern. Well, of course, a motorhome doesn't have a stern deck. So the nearest equivalent Zephyr found was her nose pressed against the passenger seat window and squashing the feet of the person who was in the passenger seat. We wanted her to sit under the dinette area, um, but she was having none of that. So um, not quite sure what we would do if we had a motorhome, whether or not she would get used to that. If you have a dog and you travel you by the motorhome, please let me know in the comments because I'd like to know, you know the best thing to do with your dog when you're traveling in a motorhome. Now we covered lots of miles. In one week we went from Bognor Regis to the New Forest. From the New Forest we went to Somerset to see family which was just lovely and then from Somerset we went to Wales, the Pembrokeshire coast. Then on the way back we went via Tenby and the Cotswolds all in one week and we saw loads and it was absolutely wonderful.
the Pembrokeshire coast was made a national park in 1952. It consists of 420 kilometres of coastline. And is home to an abundance of wildlife. Everywhere was alive with bees. Pembrokeshire is the home to the smallest city in Britain, named after the saint which rests there, Saint David. So if you watch the vlogs regularly, you'll know that I do lots of online work and some of that online work is teaching. And I have a contract, which means that I have to teach two days a week or two mornings a week for 52 weeks of the year. I have to have a lot of equipment in order to do that. So I decided to purchase a battery pack that came with five hours charge. And I also had a little Wi-Fi box with me when we were on the motorhome. However, both times that I logged in to teach my classes, the internet crashed. I just don't know why that was, and I never have that trouble on the boat. So it's something that I would need to consider because at the moment I'm going to need to be teaching. So we then arrived back at the marina. actual motorhome experience and we definitely would have another motorhome holiday without a doubt however if we bought one then we've got the issue of where we're going to park it which I hadn't even thought about and also maintain it make sure it's roadworthy and what are we going to do with it whilst we are on our narrowboat how are we going to make sure it's secure and safe so all these things mean at this present moment in time, we are not going to save up for that motorhome, but maybe later down the line when things change with my job, you know, things like that, then perhaps we will. So now it's time for you to sit back, relax, which I'm doing today and enjoy a mindful cruise and it's leaving the fish and duck marina and heading towards Ely because our toilet needs to be pumped out so sit back relax and enjoy the mindful cruise look after yourself take care and please come and join me next week bye
whether river or road, canal or by car, like a shell the abode comes with us so far. By boat we are slow, yet part of the scene, snail paced we go, sliding through green. By wheels with a hair, powering apace, and the treasures are there at the end of the race. In land or coast, I asked Bumblebee, sweet nectars in both, in both you'll find me, my hives full of honey and bee bread you know, for I look for the beauty wherever I go.